the concept java interface and the topics are introduction default keywords use of interface syntax implementing interface multiple interface and extended interface an interface is a method which is used to achieve abstraction in java abstraction means it is a process of representing only relevant data in other words we can say hiding the unnecessary details of an object from the user and it is similar to a normal class uh, interface is fully abstract class it includes only uh, abstract methods only abstract method means the methods without body so we can declare the methods inside the interface but we cannot write definition of the methods inside the interface an interface can also include static methods constants nested interfaces default methods using interface we can say what a class must do but not how it does it actually it is a requirements for classes that implement the interface an interface is implicitly abstract so we no need to use the keyword abstract while declaring an interface explicitly similarly each fields in an interface is also Im implicitly static and final so we no need to explicitly men mention the keyword starting and final when we uh, define the interface methods in an interface are also implicitly public we'll see one example for this so in the first rectangle box uh, there is a code snippet for uh, interface so here the keyword is interface and the interface name is display and the variable a it is an integer type of variable the value of the variable is equal to 10 and one method uh, will return uh, void after compilation the uh, java compiler will add the keyword public static and final in front of the variable int similarly the keyword public and abstract will be added in front of void void print so we no need to explicit, explicitly mention the keywords public static final uh, and uh, public abstract why use java interface there are mainly three reason to use interface the first one is to achieve abstraction and second one is to achieve multiple inheritance so java does not support multiple inheritance directly but we can achieve the multiple inheritance using interface concept third one is it can be used to achieve loose coupling next we see an interface uh, syntax so first we need to write the keyword interface and after that the name of the interface and within the curly brackets we can mention the uh, variables and we can declare the methods and we can specify the default methods and example so in this example the interface name is constants and it consists of two variable and one uh, method first one is the integer type of variable code with the value 1001 and uh, second value is the string type of uh, variable and the value is fan and one method that is void display next we'll see how to implement an interface actually implement an uh, interface is a super class so whose properties are inherited by classes for implementing interface we need to follow this uh, syntax first we need to write the class uh, keyword and uh, class name then the keyword implements and next the interface and within the curly brackets we need to write the code say so example uh, program for implementing interface here the interface name is drawable it consists of only one uh, method that is uh, draw and next rectangle is a class and this rectangle class implements a drawable so we need to write the definition of the methods which are uh, specified in the drawable and here only one method so we need to write the definition for the draw method inside the 
rectangle class so here the class the class name is rectangle the keyword implements and next drawable and here the definition for draw so it, it will print the string drawing rectangle so when we run this code we will get the output drawing rectangle multiple inheritance in java by interface so using interface we can achieve multiple inheritance so class can implement multiple interface and interface can extend multiple interface so here the interface can have uh, multiple uh, interface as parent interface the class can implement multiple interfaces so syntax for implementing multiple interface first we need to write the uh, uh, keyword interface and next the name of the interface then we need to write the coding of the interface the next interface b so here there are two interface interface a and interface b the class c implements a comma b so here there are two interfaces so the class c uh, it has to implement all the methods which are specified in the interface A and also in the interface B. So example program. Here there are two interface. One is printable. Second one is showable. Printable interface. Uh, it consists of one uh, method that is void print. And similarly the showable interface. It consists of one method called uh, uh, void show. The class A implements printable showable. So to achieve multiple inheritance, uh, we need to uh, implement all the methods which are specified in the interface printable and showable. So class A, we need to implement the definition for public void print and also public void show. And in the main function, we need to create an object for the class a so using the object of the class a we can call the method print and show so here a obj is equal to new the constructor a so obj is a uh, object using this obj we can call print and show if we run this program we'll get the output hello and welcome extended interface an interface can inherit another by use of the keyword extends and similar to classes interface can also extend other interfaces the syntax also same as for uh, inheriting classes when a class implements an interface that inherits another interface we need to follow the inheritance chain And for extending an interface, we need to use the keyword extends and this is the syntax. First the keyword interface and second uh, we need to mention the second interface, then the keyword extends, then the first interface. So example here, interface line. So this is, uh, this is the parent interface and next interface polygon extends line. Polygon is the child interface. And next members of polygon interface so example program for extending interfa extended interface here there are two interface interface a and interface b interface a consists of two methods method one and method two interface b consists of uh, one method called met two so here the interface b extends uh, a next class my class implements b so the class name is my class it will implement an interface B so B is the child interface so we need to write definition for the methods which are specified in the parent interface also so here we need to write the definition for interface A methods and also the methods of interface B so here the definitions for met1 met2 and the met3 methods met1 print the string met1 and met2 function will also print the 
string met2 and met3 function will print met3 string and in the third box class if extend so if extend is the main class inside the main function we need to create an object for the implementation class that is uh, for my class so here my class ob is equal to new my class constructor so ob is a, an object so using this object we can call all the three methods if we run this program we will get the output like this met1 met2 and met3 thank you